Jason can bitch suits. <laughs> I hope I said that right. You did. You got it right. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Well, welcome to our little studio here. It's beautiful. Is it gorgeous? It's beautiful. It reminds me of beautiful downtown Burbank. <laughs> it's great. Tell me, what brought you to Mount Washington today? Well, I am the executive director of the Mount Washington Community Development Corporation. Oh, wow. So I come to work here every day. Okay. Uh huh. Wow. So this is more than a tourist spot for you. This is actually... This is it. This is how I roll every day. All right. Uh -huh. All right. What a view. What I know. View. Yeah, it's really <laughs> tough to have to deal with this every oh, day. Oh, God, you're hurting. I, I know. So it's painful. You. <laughs> you should feel really bad for me. I have a tough life. What do you like the best about Mount Washington? Well, Mount Washington, um, I think, is one of the most interesting communities, not only in the city, but probably in the region. Because not only do you have this, when everybody says Pittsburgh as, you know, this great city or you know, top 10 this, most beautiful place. They're talking about this, yes. you know. I mean, you know, downtown's great. There's a lot of great neighborhoods, but people come up here, they take the picture from Grandview Avenue, they show the inclines and that's it. So this is a really iconic neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> not only does it have a great view, it's got a great housing stock, a lot of great people. Uh, it's a huge neighborhood, but um, you know, it's more than the view. And so that's what I think is really interesting about it, is that I, it's I more than this. it's interesting that you say that because I've lived here for some time, and I didn't realize that it was a neighborhood. It was just always a view. Yeah. So you're telling me beyond this, there's a neighborhood? Oh, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a big neighborhood. We've got, um, I'll give you an example. We've got, um, a couple years ago, we had all of our, we had three vacant schools. Um, at the end of this year, all of them will be filled and turned into housing. Wonderful. So we're, we're, you know, it's kind of iconic to most neighborhoods. Even the best neighborhoods might have a vacant school. We'll have none. Um yeah, the housing stock around them are, is just you know phenomenal. We've got grand homes, we've got one bedroom homes, we've got other views if you go farther back that are higher than Grandview Avenue. You look down on the Grandview Avenue. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. Um, <laughs> and then also, what's great about Mount Washington is we actually have the city's fifth regional park called Emerald View Park. Okay. So you you know you've got your Shenley, you've got Frick, um, Frick, you've got Highland, you've got Riverview. And in 2007, um, Emerald View Park was designated the city's fifth regional park. Oh. What's great about our organization is that we are the co-stewards of Emerald View Park. Mm -hmm. And so we actually uh, get the funding, um, have the crew. We have a 15-person trail crew that comes in the summer and builds trails. And when we're done with it, we'll have 20 miles of trails. Oh, wow. That's 260 excellent. acres. And so, again, it's much more than the view. You can see this. This is actually part of Emerald View Park right here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, but when you wrap around it, you can actually start at the other side of Grandview and walk all the way around Mount Washington, go into the community. It, it's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't think of any other neighborhood in the country that has something like that. So. And when is that slated to be finished? Well, it's an ongoing process. Okay. We'll be done. We, you know, we're hoping to be mostly done in five, but it'll probably be ten years. Everything will be done. Um, but we've been doing it in earnest well, for years now, but essentially the last three years, we've had a trail crew out there out there building the trails. So. Excellent. Yeah, it's amazing. What would you change about Mount Washington? Perception. Mm -hmm. um, as you mm -hmm. said, yeah, is it just, uh, you thought it was just a view? Everybody thinks, well, it's just a view. Just it is street. more than just a view. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a great place to live. And people that come up here, they never want to leave. And they really love it. And and are very open to the how the community is, um, is changing. The people see the perception. Uh, they get past it. We have a lot of people who are um, young couples, young individuals who are moving up here who are like, wow, when they come up here, they stay. Oh, okay, I mean, That's what great. I hear. Somebody comes up, they said, I came up for a party 10 years ago and I bought a house. Oh, that's and, beautiful. And so a lot of people, they, they go to college, they, they need to find a place to live. They rent a place up here and uh, they come up and buy because it's inexpensive. It's near everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't own cars. Right, right. Think about... Uh, so the uh, transportation is really great up here? Well, the inclines... Uh, the, the Duquesne and Monongahela Incline are part of, uh, are actually part of the transportation system. Mm -hmm. Duquesne Incline is actually a, a non-for-profit, runs itself, but the Mon Incline is run by the Port Authority. So okay. people will actually come up here, not own a car, take the Incline every day, walk across the Smithfield Street Bridge, to go to downtown. I think it's a great way to get to work. I think that's great, it's too. It's pretty amazing, yeah. Because that, that means you can see every season. <laughs> every, every season, every, yep. Yeah. Yep. And on the back side of it, we have the T. Okay. So the T runs under Mount Washington. You can actually get to it um, in the neighborhood uh, so within Mount side? Washington. There was a backside. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, who would have ever figured Exactly, that? yeah, yeah. There's a lot to it. It's Tell me about your children, um, the things that, that are great for children. If you were a, a, a family and you wanted to come here and you had children, what are some of the things that Mount... Mount well, not only do we have um, multiple business districts, Shiloh Street and Bingham Street, 
again, it's it's our open space. It's our it's our parks. We now have a, a new dog park at Olympia Park, okay. uh, and then of course Emerald View Park. So you can walk out of your house and go hiking with your kids any day. You don't have to get in the car and go somewhere. You don't have to ah. go to the woods. You have it right here. And so, <clears throat> what's great about this community is that so many other ones focus on business districts and housing stock. We've done that, but we focused on creating an amenity. We focused on creating something that a private developer just could not do or one person could not do. Right, right. And so as a community, people have gotten together, we've raised the funding, we've created something that um, that is truly a group effort. Mm, very nice, very nice. Sounds mm -hmm. like you guys um, have a, a really good set of people that help we do. Work, work, work together, we make do, things yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. um, in 20, I think, did I ask you that 25 years from now? 25 years. 25 years, what do you see Mount Washington? Well, I mean, I, I, would, I would imagine that Mount Washington will continue to be and will be the, the premier neighborhood in the city. Okay. I think once you get past the, uh, you know, the perception that this is only it, mm -hmm. you know, a couple streets back, you can, like I said, you can see down on here. I think uh, in 25 years, I imagine that we will have a, a very, very nice thriving mixed housing stock of people that are, you know, just starting out with their first job, buying their first house to people wow. who have said, Hey, you know, I've lived up here for 50 years or people who want to come up and buy a house for, well, it's, you know, they, some of them cost a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> By then it'll probably be $50 million mm -hmm. in, 10, in 25 years. But nonetheless, just, you know, showing that it is a is an extremely diverse community. Um, people from multiple backgrounds doing multiple things, um, you know, just continuing down that line and just being one of the city's, actually the city's best neighborhood. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jason, I want to thank you for coming aboard. Great, thanks for can having me. Tell us about your organization. Where, you, where do you work again? I want to hear that again. The Mount Washington Community Development Corporation. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Great, thank you. <laughs> All right.